Hey, it's Dr. Jack Wolfson. There's been a lot of recent hoopla about a story regarding a young woman who supposedly had a stroke after visiting her chiropractor's office. And I think that for one, we don't really know the full story. Uh, number two, she may have had this as a pre-existing condition and, uh, and chiropractic for some reason got blamed. And I think that reason obviously is just the medical establishment trying to put chiropractic in a bad light. Myself as a board certified cardiologist, obviously I know the value of chiropractic and I believe chiropractors should be the primary care physicians and not those that are purveying pills and procedures to patients. When I worked in the hospitals for 16 years, uh, I saw uh, so many people come in from strokes related to pharmaceuticals. Uh, aspirin causes strokes. Blood thinners obviously cause strokes uh, to the tune of thousands of people per year. Neurosurgery itself, uh, almost 1% of patients have a stroke post-neurosurgery treatment. Uh, there was a vascular surgeon that I used to work with who made a comment when I first met Dr. Heather about, oh, well, be, tell her to be careful because chiropractors and strokes, you know about it. And I said, uh, hey, listen, what do you pay in malpractice per year? And that vascular surgeon said he paid about $75,000 a year in malpractice. And I said, well, my wife pays less than $2,000 per year. Who do you think is dangerous? The insurance companies know the truth. It's the vascular surgeons that are dangerous. That are, it is the neurosurgeons that are dangerous. There's a Harvard review from 2014 from the Harvard Department of Ethics saying that correctly prescribed pharmaceuticals lead to 130,000 deaths per year in the United States for correctly prescribed, let alone incorrectly prescribed or other overdoses. It is known that pharmaceuticals are the fourth leading cause of death in the United States of America. So let's put the blame where it lies and go visit your chiropractor and go chiropractic.